Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. The Deadlands. So I went and looked up the last two quests that I haven't seemingly found. Or rather, where they are. And one of them I passed, and the other one I can't, don't have access to yet. Wait, how do I... How do I go that way to get to the... I just go up this way and I get to a way, tr a way shrine? Oh, this leads out. I thought this led to the cave. Ow. Okay. I have to go... North of... Yeah, there. So basically straight west from here. Let's ride. It will be strange to see. Okay. It'll be strange to see how I missed this. No oh, there it is. Oh! Wait! Valserin, isn't she the Sigic lady? Come on. This isn't right. It's good to see a fellow Sigic. You can see me, right? What about hear me? I hear you. Another improvement. I've been trapped in the synchrosesiac state for I don't know how long. My senses, myself, scattered far and wide. Is her voice I'm different? barely aligned enough to communicate. I need an intervention to pull me free. Would you help me? What was the word you said? Out of sync with reality. I need to find a Daedra sage named Irvank. A master of the Eleventh Force Change. He may be my best hope of escaping the Synchrosesia. Maybe my only hope. Will you help me find Irvank? I'll compensate you once I'm whole. Okay. The only lead I have is one of Irvank's disciples, Mora, in Windswept Crag. I've been trying to communicate with her for hours, but I get no response. If you speak on my behalf, we may finally get somewhere. How'd you wind up like I this? I wanted to study the Eleventh Force change within this realm of oblivion. You see, Mayrun's Dagon is best known for his power of destruction, but that is merely a portion of his sphere of influence. All of his aspects are rooted in change. The Eleventh Force? Really? The Eleven Forces are only the basis for your entire studies as a Sigic. You should take some time from your practical studies to brush up on your theory. The Eleventh most sacred force is change. What does that have to do with the thing you said? Everything, really. I underestimated change's currents here in the Deadlands. When I reached out to dip my toes in, I got swept away. Parts of me, anyway. Is that why your body is gone? Among other things. I'm out of sync with this realm, with myself. It seems that I've regained enough alignment to interact with you. But there's no telling how long I'll remain like this. And I'd rather not become dispersed across time and space. What can you tell me about Irvank? He is a well-known sage, though few besides his disciples have ever seen him. Rumors claim he's always in motion, which is fitting, but also makes tracking him down very difficult. Mora may be able to guide us to him, though. Did you venture out from Artem all by yourself? Are you suggesting I should have dragged half the Order along on this expedition? Maybe held a symposium? I prefer to conduct my I studies at my own I think her voice is different. Pace, different thinking. actress. Though I did appear to underestimate how strong the Eleventh Force would be here. You're the right master now. You need to be more careful. Being right master is half the reason why I'm here. I hardly have a moment to myself anymore. My study of the old ways has fallen to the wayside because of my usual duties. Your concerns are valid, of course, and noted. Okay. Wow, this is a really easy to miss quest. Like, it kind of literally falls in between the cracks of the map. I hope you get that lead. No, nope, didn't get it. I still can't believe how lucky I was among some of the other ones that was one of the ones I was most nervous for because when you have to compete for a resource to get a lead it's terrible the ones I was most worried about were the safe boxes Ugh, 
So the ghost returns. Wait, you can see me? And hear you, unfortunately. I see you brought someone to help offend my other senses, too. Your odor precedes you, leaky skin bag. That's rude. At least I could tune out the apparition, but your sweaty, reeking body would test even Lord Dagon's endurance. Well, go on before your overwhelming miasma seeps into everything and drives away the fish. We're trying to find Irvank. Sending you to Master Irvank would be akin to farting downwind. I would inflict your odious odor on my worst enemy, let alone a Daedra of his esteem. Whatever your troubles, they'll be over soon. Your smelly existences are mercifully brief. What can you? What would convince you to let, tell us where to find Irvin? I just want to fish without your fetid meat musk burning my nose. You can go pick apocalypse seeds from an end times ash tree for all I care. Actually, that's perfect. Go get me a seed. I think there's one out in those burning wastes. You want an apocalypse seed? I want you to go away. But some shade would be nice. Wait, stop that. I don't need to explain anything to you, Fault Wisp. Just blow away and vanish like the leaves. She has of a an weird obsession with ash. gas. You're fishing? <laughs> you must be utterly baffled by the concept. Just sitting and waiting for something to occur with patience. As quickly as you expire, the mere idea must appear ludicrous. How utterly pathetic. Mortals fish, you know. They do? Oh my. That somehow makes it even worse. There went the last vestiges of pity I held for you worthless creatures. Alas, I'll never be as cruel as whoever conceived of you reeking awful bags. What kind of fish can you catch in lava? Oh, I really couldn't say. Why don't you take a dip and see for yourself? What do you have against us? <laughs> what don't I have against you? You mortals are like an irritating itch. They're long enough to be a nuisance, but nothing of any lasting consequence. The pointlessness of your existence offends me. Why any Daedra have an interest in you is beyond me. Wow, she may be the shittiest character we've met. I'm sorry you had to endure that, but considering most Daedra's temperaments, Mora's caustic personality isn't so bad. I think we might be able to make some headway with her. How so? I've observed her for some time now, while trying to make contact. I think she's dissatisfied by more than just our presence. There's something more to this apocalypse seed business than she's willing to admit. It might help persuade her. Where can we get one? Mora mentioned end times ash trees. I vaguely recall some trivial details from my travel preparations. I think I can identify one of those trees when I see it. My present condition should actually make the search easier. I'll scout ahead. I'll meet you out there. Oh, someone appeared while I was talking. I wonder if there are fish in the lava here. That would be impressive. I mean, it's the Deadlands. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if there were magmatic fish. Here. This is the specimen we're looking for. Well, in a manner of speaking. I see no seeds. This is an end times ash tree. But it appears to be like most things in the Deadlands. Dead. All is not lost, though. I remember that these trees have a particularly volatile life cycle. Growth, destruction, regrowth. It just needs a nudge. What do we need to do? If we want a seed, we need it to sprout. That's impossible while it's dead, but I think we can encourage it to change if we provide it with the right catalysts. I'll try conjuring some elements. If I can manage that, you can apply them to the tree. You can't do it yourself? I am still tenuously connected to this realm. I'm not even sure I'll be able to muster simple conjurations. But you and I are still relatively in phase. If all goes well, you can act as an intermediary and effect change on my behalf. Let's give it a try. Phew! That was more difficult than it Soil, should have been. Soil, water, fire. Try using those on the tree. How about the soil first? 
The synchrosesia, it's... Oops. We've looped back upon ourselves. You'll need to try something else. Okay, so maybe destroy it completely? Cleansing fire. That's a good start. And then... New soil? Something's changing. Nope, okay, so fire, water, soil. Oh, hello, Havercrill. That is deeply unpleasant. No, it's a behemoth. But That's at not least a we're no, that is a Havercrill. Cleansing fire. Yeah, water. That's a good stuff. New life breaking through the quenched flames. And so it. Is that a hostile Havercrill? My body. Yes. It's gone again. You almost had it. Somehow our meddling with the end times ash affected my asynchronous state. I was fully aligned with myself again, if only for Is this going to be a twist moment. that the lady is the master sage whatever in fact? I don't understand the implications, but Irvank might. We should return to Mora. We could try another tree. We could, but I'm not quite to the point of risking my entire existence on blind experimentation. I believe Irvank is still my best hope of returning to a stable state, provided we can convince Mora to help us find him. It's a cool tree, as volatile as it is. It's quite a vicious cycle. Mora, we have something for you. Oh, a new smell. How inventive. God, you suck. Are you attempting to mask your horrendous stench by rolling around in ash and dirt? Huh. Only a mortal would believe compounding filth with filth is somehow an improvement. We brought you an apocalypse seed. An apocalypse seed? How did you... I honestly thought you'd wander off and die before the new seedlings took. And you just brought this to me? Why would you do that? I made no pact with you. It seemed like something you might be interested in. I don't understand. This is some sort of trick, isn't it? Are you even smart enough for tricks? Maybe you really did just bring it to me. Idiot mortal. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm just going to turn it away, but I'm not going to be in debt to a mortal. You could tell us where to find Irvank. I suppose you demonstrated you aren't completely useless, and you muffled your overpowering stench. Fine. I'll help you to find Master Irvink. Seek out Shirodar in the Flea Pits district of Wretched Spire. He was the last mortal to see the Master. Ah, uh, I bet that's that spot we Wretched were at before. Spire? I'll meet you there. Oh shit, there's just Titans up there, huh? Just hanging out. Her Still not a single sign of the wandering Havercrill box bosses. And you're expected to kill 30 of them? That's a little... I almost wonder if that's bugged somehow. And they went through all this effort now of adding, like, world map indicators to... Well, world events like those things. But didn't add them for those things. Which is... It's a choice. Definitely a choice. Oh, wait, there was one right here and I missed him. Wow, that 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 sucks. Oh well. Problem is no one even calls it out in chat. Oh. Okay, nothing really. Crazy there. Yeah, I bet he's in the spot we saw that had like all the decorations. It would make the most sense. This 
quest almost seems a little out of place. Like, it doesn't really... I get that they wanted to return some characters, but she... Like, the excuse for her to be here is kind of weak. Wait, please. Just listen. Gilfric sent you to hunt me, didn't he? Dubious hench ghost, this one is not fooled. Ah, mercy! This one does not wish to become Gilfrex's ghost slave as well. Where's Gilfrex? Just stop for one moment and let me explain. Hey, dum dum. Call off your attack, ghost. Shirodar knows when he is caught, but have mercy. No matter the size of this one's death, Gilfrex gets nothing if Shirodar dies. We don't know Gilfrex. You don't? That one, the ghost, she said the same. But Gilfrex has his tricks. He stalks, hunts this one like an animal. Shirodar does not know you, so he thought you among them. If you are not with Gilfrex, what do you want with this one? Mora said you might be able to help us find Master Irvank. Mora? The Daedra who is most rude. And to hear it from her, this one's fragrance would befoul all the corners of oblivion. Never has Shirodar been so insulted. Sorry, Shirodar is too busy fleeing for his life to be of much help. If you weren't, would you cooperate? Oh, if you were to get Gilfrex off Shirodar's tail, that would make you much more agreeable in this one's book. Shirodar is greatly in debt, but what Gilfrex asks for is beyond what this one can deliver. Perhaps you can remedy this. Yeah, okay. Gilfrex rules the Fleepid district, feeding on desperation and despair. Shirodar suspects he is not so important for a Daedra, but among the dregs of wretched spire, he is a king. This one should not linger in the Fleepids. He will hide outside. What does Gilfrex want? Gilfrex wants. He want is him? under the impression that this one can retrieve some foul Daedric trinket from a most dangerous place. This one is much more skilled at fleeing and cowering. Unfortunately, Gilfrex will likely kill Shirodar for refusing. Okay. Let's find this Gilfrex and be done with it. I agree. This quest is just turning out to be an excuse to travel a lot. I'm not a fan of those types of quests. I prefer when they're in one area. Please, my Lord Gilfrex, I just need more time. Time? I have time. You do not. One day, filth. Ulf, Ulfrig the Hand, Trodar. Cool armor, guys. You're not one of my debtors, yet. But everyone in Wretched Spire needs something, and I provide. So what can I do for you, poor mortal? I need you to forgive Shirodar's debt. Right to the chase. I hate that. I like to watch the needy squirm. Shirodar, for example. Big squirmer. You, not so much, I suppose. Is that why the cat sent you? As muscle? <laughs> Raw deal. You'll never collect. Either way, I'm getting what I'm owed. What does Shirodar owe you? The cat promised he could get me a little item called the Slave Choker from False Martyr's Folly. But it was all talk. If I don't have that collar by the time I find the cat, I'll make one out of his tail. Oh my Understand. god. Thank goodness I can use persuasion. I don't want to go all the way there. Is Shirodar's debt really worth all the effort you're putting into collecting? It's not getting me any closer to the Slave Choker, that's for sure. Fine. I've wrung enough fear out of the cat these last few days to have my fill. It's overpowering the more subtle miseries I savor. His debt is cleared. Now go. I'll let him know. Well, that was easy. Yeah, this is this is an annoying quest because it would really just be sending you all across the Deadlands. And it's like, if it's like in this case, like in this case one of the last quests you're doing it would be absolutely miserable if you got it like right from the start and you could do them the activities like as you're doing other things sure it'd be fine but ugh, 
Not good. You know, we haven't really seen that place depicted in Just this picture, have we? Put. My friend is never going to catch up if you keep running off. But that is how Gilfrix catches up to this one, too. I told you, they've already paid off your debt. It's you. Wait. Oh, no, never mind. It's you. <laughs> the ghost says everything is all right. Gilfrex no longer wants my tail. Or any other part of me. Is... Is it true? Yes. Gilfrex forgave it? Gilfrex never forgives anything. Oh, perhaps Master Erwin was right. This one's fortunes can change for the better. Perhaps next time it will even be Shirodar who changes them. Tell us where to find Irvank, please. Well, you see, this one does not know the Master's ever-shifting path, so he uh, cannot say for sure. My god. But he does know that Master Irving planned to visit a new disciple. Or disciple-to-be, rather. Hikso, a skeptic of the Master's ways. Where can we find Hikso? This one will mark the place on your map. He is certain you will find the stubborn one and Master Irving there. Unless Irving has already convinced Hikso and they have both moved on. No, no. Shirodar is sure you are meant to cross paths. I hope so. My synchrosesia is shifting again. Hey, look, you've got a body. And now you don't. Where are you sending me? Oh. Back over there. I can't believe I came across a dead Havercrow boss. That's... I wonder how hard they are. Can they be soloed? I mean, they're obviously world event style bosses, so they're probably tough cookies, but still. Considering there's not a lot of active players on right now. I bet someone's mapped out their paths. They can't just spawn completely randomly in this area. There has to be a logic to it. This game just doesn't have the capability to do that kind of thing. There's a lot of sulfur there. Oh, that's a large man. Hixo, was it? No need for any hostility. Well, that makes the risk of bodily harm moot. Hello. What, maggot? We're looking for Master Irvink. Master of lies. Irvink says even stone softens when needed. <sighs> Nonsense. Things made strong are strong. Things made weak are weak. Prove the strength of his words. Otherwise, Irvink is nothing to me. And so are you. What are you asking of us? Show me the strong stone that becomes soft. The hard stone that becomes brittle. The weak stone that becomes strong. Show me that you and Irving are worth hearing. Then I might answer you. How am I supposed to do that? You aren't. Unless there is truth in Irving's words. What? If... There is proof to be found. You will find it near the Dramora outpost to the west. Now go. Die to the strong maggots. I mean, clay starts soft and becomes hard. And you put it in a kiln or fire blast it or... A few, a few varieties of modification. Graphite is hard but brittle. What else? A uh, weak stone becomes strong. That one I don't know. Oh, never mind. They're like not. They're like weird. Okay. I thought this was gonna be like an actual clever puzzle. They're just like situationally lazy items. Got it. Volcanic glass, though. That's you know what? I'll give them that one. That's a real thing. Horus Basalt. Yeah, Basalt is a strong but brittle. Okay. 
the Scorian stone I'm a little disappointed Over here. with. Did you find the stones? Ixo should be along. It'd be hard to miss Oh. Well, he's arrived. <laughs> oh, you look better in this light. Maggot, you return. I have the stones Irvank spoke of. It is as Irving said. Strong becomes weak. Weak becomes strong. Change is inevitable. These stones prove the strength of his words. I do not understand him. Now, I do. Will he now he tell me where to find him? Irving awaits you to the south. Grow, maggot, into something strong. I will. I'm really glad your mood improved before this happened. Nope, oh, and he's gone. With a clap of his hands and a click of his Off heels. We go. Oh my god, are we actually finding it? Where'd he go? What? Hello? What was that? Oh! Who's speaking? Wait. Master Irving? He's a Banekin! Nice! You? I will talk to Master Irvank, of course. Well, this is a nice little twist. I've been expecting you to. Your friend is ever present here. Everywhere and nowhere. Too used to order and now drowning in chaos. Can you speak up a little? How does how it I understand you? My words fall on deaf ears, but my thoughts find an open mind. I cannot send them far and wide. But when I am close to one who desires understanding, I will be heard. Can all Bacon do this? No, no. Though it's possible all Bacon could do this. It's possible you could do this. Anything is possible. Reaching that possibility is much less. Lightly. How so? A complex course along the path of change can be a longer journey than most are willing or able to make. You yourself, mortal, are bound by the length of your life and must plot your course accordingly. Hmm, he speaks as a sage. Can you help Valserin? I cannot change her, but she can change herself. She seeks to master the Eleven Force, but you do not master change. She must let go of this urge before the current she fights against drown her. How can she do the that? The is born to fly, but still must learn to glide upon the wind. She cannot force the sky to carry her where she desires. She must learn to follow the winds of change before she can guide her course. I'm going to have to bump up this guy's audio. How? Oh, okay. Not what I expected, but then nothing about this journey has been thus far. The Bankins, Master Irvank's voice, comes through clearly, but I don't understand. He's telling me he can't correct my alignment with this realm. So what will you do? I don't know. I'm stretched so thin. Just holding on to some semblance of reality all this time has been exhausting. I don't think I can go on fighting like this much longer. You're just gonna give up? If a master of the Eleventh Force can't fix this, what hope do I have? I can barely think straight anymore. If you have any brilliant ideas, I'm open to suggestions. Hmm. Well, that's not it. If struggling with your condition is tearing you apart, maybe you should stop. Stop looking for someone to fix your problem and get a hold of yourself. Well, this is the one he kind of hinted at, right? Just give in? That's insane. My entire being would be scattered across infinite time and space. But 
I suppose there was a positive reaction when others near us stopped resisting change. I... I'll have to trust in the Eleventh Force. Here goes nothing, which is what I'll be if this doesn't work. Relax. Let go. I feel it. Pulling. Pushing. But I can flow with it. I can align with it. Ah, at last. I'm whole again. I can't begin to describe how unpleasant it is to be strewn across the cosmos. I think my sense of touch was underwater half the time. And my teeth feel like I've been sleeping with my mouth open. Will you stay whole this time? Yes. I understand how to keep this realm's chaos from pulling me apart now. I'll be fine, thanks to your efforts as my proxy. If I had to be out of phase with reality, I'm glad you were there to help me. Please, accept this with all my gratitude. Certainly, it's a quick study. Well, of course, it's not so easy to let go of control when your entire existence is in jeopardy. Chuffing, flapping lips. <laughs> then I think you have a great deal to learn about the mortal condition. I can share the finer details later. And so, students of change, you have learned the most important lesson. I hope you continue to follow its course. Learn its ways and come back to teach me something new. How did you become a master of change? Practice. Most do not ever feel the flow of the Eleventh Force. But once you become aware of the motions of change around you, you need only feel them and observe. Eventually, they speak to you as they do. I thought only Sidgix called it the Eleventh Force. I merely speak in terms you are familiar with. But these are new ways of thinking for me as well. I do not see everything through eleven lenses as your friend does. Perhaps I will peer through them for a while and learn something new. This is a cool character. Like, I kind of hope he shows... Can it be? Or is it just a regular? <gasps> it is! Uh... Hmm. How do I do this now? Mortals. I smell them. 